All right, guys, we are here with the one and only Ben Baller, and he is going to give us the first ever tour of his million dollar man cave. Million dollars, right? More than that. Maybe more. Like, yeah. More yeah. That. <laughs> I don't think they running at my pace. Jordan wants, gotta keep them lace. If she bad, I might have to get a taste. Whip go room, I'll set them on a chase. All right, so let's start out with the bare brick wall. Uh, you've got quite a few bare bricks here. I see the phase one. I know you're tight with the phase guys. A lot of people don't know that I've been a member of phase class since 2017. Oh, so you are a member? Yeah, so I've been, I've been in phase class since 2017. It's funny because I've been wanting to get a tattoo for a long time. Obviously, I have the chain and everything, but yeah, that was gifted to me from Norton from Rain. Yeah, dude, you know, these Mickeys are really rare because they are only released either in Tokyo or New York. And that was, uh, you know, a Mickey collab with Soriyama. Obviously, the whole top area right here is all bathing aid. A lot, the crazy thing about this that's so dope is that most of these were gifts. Yeah. Right, even the Javier joint. Daniel Arshin gave me that. That's like 20 grand now. This that one's like sick. 10. This cause is obviously a gift from the man himself. The Fendi. Those were never for sale ever. That came from Italy, from like actually from a Fendi store. The white Chanel is probably like 50 grand Coco. The, the black Chanel is probably about 35, 40K. That Leica joint is a lot. That ready made is probably 40, 50K. The Dubai Levi Selvage collab is probably, you know, it's getting up there 20 something. And so, yeah, you know, a lot of these bear bricks are crazy. Even this, this pillow right here is from Murakami. This is like six or seven grand now for a fucking pillow. That's crazy. You know, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, even, the mid-tier bears yeah. are like two to five K. So if you start really thinking about, you know, there's 125, uh, 125 bear bricks in this house or in this man cave alone. What do you do when you run out? Cause there's no more space. No, there's no more space anymore. I have space probably if I mess around with it. Yeah, I'm trying to convince Mina to let me get one of the big ones. Cause I have a bunch of the mini ones. She's like, Hell oh, no, cause that's how it's gonna start. He's yeah. gonna come with just one and then that's it. Yeah, we know Ben Baller has his own stuff. They <laughs> drop on the network app. Has this one dropped yet? Or? No, this hasn't dropped yet. Gold crowbar. This is not yeah, your practice life. Dead. But you know what? You you nowadays with all the shit that's going on right now, you might need it. That's what I was literally about to say. You might need one of those around LA right now. You know what's funny is all this shit that's in here, you know, my collaborations with Tops on the first non-pro athlete ever to even have a Tops Chrome, let alone, you know, his own baseball card set. But like a lot of this random shit I've gotten here, like I bought this fake cause doll. I had no idea. And the crazy part, I got in Shanghai, cause messages me immediately, and he's like, bro. That's, That's fake. fake. Well. Now, the crazy thing is, if you don't know, it came with a Lane Crawford tag. Lane Crawford is the Barney's, like higher than Barney's. Lane Crawford's like super high end. They got it in, in, in Europe. So I thought it was legit because I had a Lane, had just like a real Lane Crawford tag. Yeah. And thank God I only paid like four or five hundred bucks for it. Yeah. Because like it was fake. So <laughs> it made it so much cooler because this was never made in this size. As funny as all this cool memorabilia is here and everything, right? And there's so many different things, even someone making like a toy of myself. I think probably the most meaningful thing in this entire room is probably this Kobe jersey. And like you had to go to the last game. His last game had to sit on the floor. Average ticket price was probably 25 to 50K on the floor. You had to sit on the floor in order to get it. And George Lopez was at the game with Arsenio Hall. And when he came back, he's like, y'all know you Kobe and us, your boy. He's like, choose. Because it came with eight and 24. Yeah, yeah. He's like, which one? I'm like, bro, I don't, you, tell, you tell me, bro. <laughs> I'm down. I always like the eight better than the 24, right? But, yeah. you know, because I was a KB8. So, like, this is, like, something that meant a lot to me. Plus yeah. football, whatever. And just, you know, I got all the Kobe shoes and stuff. So, that was a big deal. The thing with these, like, companions and stuff, these are the five years later. When everyone sees, like, the open edition cause, like, if I put one, I don't even have one. How about that? Like, I don't yeah. buy them because they're open edition. I'm not trying to be snobby, but, like, yeah. when people show all their cause, like if you go to like some sneakers to on Melrose or something, yeah, they and you see them, them. They got them. You remember they're like this tall. Yeah, yeah. Like this is a different level. Like you know what I'm saying? These are like you yeah. Know, how do you even get this? This is. I've had these since 2008. Like you know since yeah. way back then. And I have all the four footers, obviously in a different room. But like it was just random shit that I just kind of put together. The thing is, this was all like this was all gifted. Yeah. And that's the crazy part is there's people who are literally just buying and buying trying to get to this level but you've had the connections for years now to be able to make this this room like this and it's just like it's never ending <laughs> i feel like i could stay in here for like a whole day and just look at all the dope shit that you can find like i'm literally like looking around right now and i just see stuff over here over here over there and so many people have come in here like or even cutty and cutty be like yo this so is i'm crazy. about to yeah he's like i'm about to build wall like yeah. you know boom not many people have uh, have come into the man cave yeah i was gonna ask too has anybody come in here and like tried to recreate what you have going on i mean you know like there's a there's people who've, who've looked at it and been like yo like even like whether it be like like if i had more space and i had like more time yeah i could easily go and say this i'm gonna go build 
a bear brick like museum. Yeah. Just don't have the time. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Even the tops collab. Can we show one of these? Yeah. Yeah. Here. This is crazy. Like, how do you? Okay. You've done some crazy collabs over the last like two years. I feel like like tops. Like, who the hell has their own tops collab? How did these brands reach out? How like do they reach out to you? Or are you just like through connections? Like, how does? So they... the, the the thing, the reason why so many of my big collabs have happened. I'm with the agency called XL Sports Management. My agent is uh vice president of the company, and and the agency, you know, XL Sports Management represents. Tiger Woods, Derek Jeter, Peyton Manning, even all the way down Trevor Lawrence, uh, Jokic, all the biggest NBA, NFL, the big, you know, one of the biggest sports agencies ever. So when I got all these deals, I'm getting deals like Renee Montgomery, who owns Atlanta Dream. She's a pro and you know WNBA player. She had me on her show and she was like, you know what, Ben? I've literally like did research on your life and like you're the only person I know that isn't a pro baller that has professional sports and endorsements. Like you're in the NBA 2K game. You know, you're an NFL endorsement. You're, you know, MLB endorsements. I have a Dodgers collab coming out next year. I got Lakers collab coming out, like official. Yeah. You know, NBA new era, boom. But like my agent, I have to give them all of it. You know, they have literally opened so many doors for me. Thanks. Alright guys, it wouldn't be a video of mine without showing some sneakers. So we had Ben pull out some, not all his sneakers, but a few dope pairs that he had, especially this one, the black box. Go ahead and take over and just show people what these are, how rare they are, and what you got right here. Well, the crazy thing is, you know, at one point having 2,000 pairs of shoes, you know, when I finally got down to 40 pairs, I was like, wow, this is an accomplishment. That sounds impossible to, uh, like, possible it to was me. I can't even get my 100 pairs to like 40. That, that I can't even think about doing that. But that's imagine 2,000, right? Yeah. Well, I got rid of my collection. I'm just saying to get to 40, and that's including like dress shoes and things like that, it felt really good, right? Yeah. But uh, I have a bathing ape collab coming out. So like, you know, they, they send me random shit. Like these have the hashtag DBDTC. Obviously, Ben Ball did the chain, suede joints. They're dead stock. I, they, I don't fit me because they're a size 10. Yeah. These, ben these ones are hard. These ones are Faced super it. sick. I love the little pink hit that like super. Yeah, that perfect. pink kind of kind of like sets it off, right? These right here, man. This is definitely you know. Um, yeah, these are crazy, man. I've seen a lot of shoes. I've never seen these in person. Yeah, this is number ninety of one fifty. A lot of people don't know, like you know, like if you really look closely, there's like that crackled leather. You see it? Yeah. Then there's like you know the ostrich here. There's a lot going on in this shoe. Yeah. Even down to the midsole, down yeah, to this. Suede right here too. Yeah. They there's a lot going that. on. One pair of shoes that to me are kind of like a grail to me would be the black Jordan 3 and Jordan 8 Kobe's. But now it's even just gotten difficult because it was, it was you know what I'm yeah, saying, with Kobe's yeah. color, whatever. So it's like, but you want to see something really, really rare, man? Hey, that's what we're here for. Can it be on camera? You're looking like you're debating if you could put it on camera or not. That's an actual, that's the actual three-peat ring. That's a real Lakers championship No way. Ring. That's official. What? That's the real three-peat ring right there. Pretty crazy that, you know, it was a, uh, it was a Laker 3P, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shaq and Kobe, so this uh this means everything to me. I said I'ma do it, I'ma get it anyways. All I do is Alright, so you got a lot of stuff down here, but I got a, a probably a hard question, or maybe somebody's asked you this before, but let's say the house is on fire, God forbid. What's one item you're grabbing from here that you gotta get out? Damn, I don't even know, man. I think it just I think it just at that point, I think it's just time to just say it and just yeah. just collect the insurance money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm being honest with you, like I'm being dead serious. Like I couldn't. There's no way I'm just grabbing one thing. Yeah, that's true. You know, like at that point, I just be like, yo, dude, it's just the L. Some of the shoes we bought, like the off-white Chicago ones, we paid 3k each for those. Like I got it for her and I got it for myself. And now, before Virgil passed, rest in peace, that was a five thousand dollar shoe. Now it's a ten thousand dollar shoe. So holy. It's like did, oh, I didn't yeah. think about that. Yeah, yeah. everything so all jumped. Pre, pre, pre Virgil's death was was all going up down. Yeah, it was yeah. all going up. Dude, I got goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. holy sh got goosebumps. Crazy. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's the shoe that me and him got in a fight over. Really? We talked about it on my show, but I'll say it on your show because a lot of people don't listen. You know, but I have, hey, go to his podcast. Somebody tweeted me too, saying that you mentioned me in one of your episodes, and I couldn't find it. I don't know what it was about. I don't remember what it was either. So yeah, but yeah, go check out his podcast. I'll leave the link down below. Um, I know, but yeah, it's behind the baller podcast. But like, I talked about it because it was just I felt bad, but like. He was giving the early pairs out. Yeah. And like ASAP Rocky was probably the first. And then like Ian Connor got a pair. And then like um, Yachty got a pair. And then like just like my boy Luca got a pair. And then like Bella Hadid. And I was just, it started getting longer and longer. I was like, all right, dog. I was like, yo, bro. I was like, I know they're coming. Yeah. I just, I'm just like, yo, what's up? Like, what's going on? And then Ronnie Fye got a pair. But I took offense by it just by like, like seniority of age. I felt entitled. It was a really cocky, fucked up thing for me to, to, to feel. So I found a pair for like, I don't know, 1200 bucks. And I was pissed. Yeah. So I don't buy shoes, whatever. So I got them. I told Ian Connor what I was gonna do. So Ian calls Virgil. He called me, yo bro, 
you know, Ben Foley got something for your ass, dog. And so Virgil thought it was a gift. Yeah. He's like, word, is what Ben got for me? <laughs> like, what's up? And he goes, oh yeah, he got something for you, bro. Just just pay attention, trust me. And then uh, I went to a riff and I, and I got a marker, I got a Sharpie, and in block letters I wrote, air f Virgil, right? Oh. And I posted it and he saw it and he was really pissed off. And I get it, whatever, and I blocked him. And then I realized, I was like, yo, and then like, I remember some of the homies were like, yo, dude, you're wrong, you know, blah, blah, wasn't like that. You'd be like, nah, f all that sh And I was really in, I was feeling myself way too much. It was yeah. just like, you know, it was the year that Plain Jane also came out. You know, it was 2017, you know, I was just like, yeah. my, my mind was really just in a bad place. Like, I don't know what I was, how I was, I was filled up with 87 gas. I wasn't even filled up with 91 gas. I was filled with 87 yeah. octane gas. My head was all clouded. And then I remember um, like a year later, I ran into him. I ran into him at Mark Jacobs' wedding, actually. But I ran into him. We, we seen each other here and there, but I ran into him. We, uh, he was like, he was like, dog, don't even say anything. Don't even trip. And I was like, no, no, I should but he was standing right next to Anna Wintour. Mm. And at that time, he knew he was gonna be the, the, the head of Louis Vuitton. Yeah. So I felt bad, like I was gonna interrupt us, that you know, thing, but I was like, yo. And he's like, Doc, don't even trip. He's like, it's, it's, it's past us. Yeah. So we collaborated on Saturday Night Live. Um, Cuddy's, uh, Cuddy wore that dress in, in honor of Kurt Cobain and mental health and, uh, you know, uh, suicide prevention stuff. And then we collaborated on the Met Gala and I saw him. I didn't think anything of it, but again, everyone's there. How do you have a conversation? Let me talk to you for a minute, man. Yeah. Oh, so sorry, man, blah. And we're just going through DM. Like, it's so funny. Like some people we talk to DM, I have his phone number, but it's like, we're just going through DMs. And he even said, yo, I really appreciate your support. All love aside, like, don't even worry about, like, you know, I'm just like, this motherfucker won't let me apologize to him. You know what I'm saying? Such yeah. a good dude. Like, I'm like, bro, let me really just say how much asshole I am and sincerely say I'm sorry man you know and not to sound like a meme or a cliche but you really don't know what's going on with people yeah exactly you know All right, guys, so we checked out Ben's man cave. We appreciate you letting us take a tour. This is the first time it's ever been seen on YouTube. Anything you want to say or promote or anything like that? Rest in peace, Virgil, man. That's it. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all. Make sure you smash a thumbs up. Subscribe. Follow Ben on Instagram and his <laughs> podcast. I will leave all the links down below. And we're out of here. I don't think they running at my pace.